guys. Um, this will be a very brief video uh, discussing your final essay in fiction. So um, as I posted, and hopefully you've looked over the assignment and really read closely the section in your textbook about um, literary criticism, I'm asking you to look at one of those short stories on your assignment list, um, and there are a number of them. Choose one of those and write um, a literary criticism analysis focusing on one specific um, school of criticism or literary theory. So this is a pretty kind of upper level skill that I'm asking you to do for this final essay, but I know that you are absolutely more than capable of doing it. Um, someone asked this in the questions and answers forum, so if you saw this response, I'm going to kind of um, repeat this and use this example, but what you're doing for this final analysis is looking through a specific lens to analyze the story itself. So with your literary criticism analysis that you did a couple of weeks ago, you were looking at symbolism or theme or the characters and looking at the story from kind of a structural standpoint. Um, with literary criticism and looking at literary theory, you're making it a bit more meaningful than just what's on the page. So it's taking a step back from the literature and looking at the piece of literature and what it means in society, kind of in a very broad term. So if you choose to do, um, hold on, let me do a couple things at once here. If you choose to do um, a gender analysis of mm, pills like white elephants, let's be challenging here, you're going to look at it through a feminist lens and look at it and think about um, the differences in the man's voice and the woman's voice and certainly what they're arguing about and their pregnancy and abortion. You probably want to look into um, the availability of abortion at the time and legality. Um, you'd be looking specifically at those ideas. Um, if you were to do a biographical approach to Hills Like White Elephants, you would do a little research on Ernest Hemingway himself and perhaps see if you can find that he ever had a girlfriend or a wife who had had an abortion. And if you can find that he did, then you would analyze the story from that standpoint and how his own life affected his writing that story, even though it's a piece of fiction. So that's kind of a vague example. Um, the example I used in the discussion and the questions forum is a party down at the square, whereas if you wanted to take a historical approach, you would look up the legacy of lynching in the South and do some research about that. Um, and focus on how the story presents lynching and analyze it from that perspective. If you wanted to do a biographical approach, you would um, analyze Ralph Ellison's own life, um, the experiences he might have had that affected um, his own views on specifically lynching or just kind of race in general. Um, so the possibilities are quite endless. You know, if you go through and look at the different approaches and the different stories that I've given you to choose from, you can just go in many, many different directions. Um, please do choose a story that you haven't written about before. I want you to challenge yourself and really look at something from a new perspective. Um, I like for you to start out in the Bloom database from the library's um, website. But certainly, if you want to look up a little history or look up some biographical information about an author, um, you can look at reputable websites as well. And if you ever have a question about whether something is a reputable website, um, please ask me. I've also linked to um, OWL, the online writing lab at Purdue. They are their web page about literary theory and um, schools of criticism. This is a lot more in depth than I'm asking you to go into, but it might serve as a nice supplement to the information in your book. So I know if you click on feminist criticism, it gives you a list of questions you might want to ask yourself as you're reading 
the story to analyze it from that perspective. So choose one of the stories, um, choose one of the approaches, and really specifically look through that lens at the story and analyze and make a claim um, from that perspective and certainly use other sources to support your claim and cite them properly. A couple of little side notes um, from just having graded your literary analysis essays, some things to keep in mind. Um, please really watch the formatting of your in-text citations. Um, the quotation mark should go at the end of the quotation and then in parentheses put the author's last name and the page number and then the period after the parentheses. Think of the in-text citation as being part of your sentence so you put the period at the end of it. Um, after first reference you can just put the page number um, until you switch sources again. So if you're just dealing with the story you put Hemingway 13 um, and then you can just put 14, 15 until you move to a different source and then you would put last name page number again. Um, your work cited page just be sure to um, put short stories and quotation marks, independently published works like your textbooks get italicized. Um, just be really careful with some of those technicalities and be sure to avoid dropped quotes. They need to be integrated into your own sentences. Um, your writing needs to sandwich those quotes from the text or your sources. So just be really strong and clear in your writing. Um, choose something you're interested in and really kind of delve into the text from that perspective. Um, you know, just other ideas as I look at the list, um, if you did a historical approach to a perfect day for banana fish, which I know some of you in the discussion forum were already kind of dabbling with, thinking about PTSD and some of the issues surrounding the World War that might have affected Seymour um, and how that might affect the story. So you'd have to do a little research into perhaps trench warfare and PTSD, but it would be well worth your time as you're doing a historical approach. Um, to build a fire, uh, historical or biographical, both could be um, pretty easy. Shiloh, certainly from a gender perspective, reading that from um, through a feminist lens could be really powerful. Um, a few of you have already kind of done uh, biographical analyses of the yellow wallpaper, so don't do that again if you've already done that. But um, there are a lot of different ways you can approach these stories, and I hope that you um, give it your all in these next couple of days. And when you copy and paste your first draft into the discussion forum, your peers will give you feedback and I will give you feedback in the discussion forum as well. So ask questions, email me if you have any concerns or questions or ideas, uh, post in the questions and concerns forum, uh, finish strong. You guys have really overall done a great job this semester and I hope you finish with kind of as much strength and passion as you've shown so far. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions and I'll look forward to reading and commenting on your first draft. Have a great day.